Sure, the big teams are going to take all the headlines, but part of the joy of the World Cup is watching teams outperform their means and writing their own Cinderella stories while surprising the planet. The favourites are obvious, Brazil, Germany, France, Spain and Argentina spring to mind, but let's take a look at some of the dark horses headed to this year's World Cup, who, with a bit of luck and some potential fulfilling performances from their respective stars, could make a surprisingly deep run in Russia. Here are the seven skillful sides underrated for Russia. Number 7. Senegal Senegal do not have an easy group to get out of, with Robert Lewandowski fronted Poland and Colombia who made it to the 2014 quarterfinals with the Golden Boot winner James Rodriguez in their way. But after defeating incumbent champions France in their first ever World Cup game in 2002, Senegal have proved that they have a surprise in them. This year they'll be taking one third of Liverpool's Champions League final reaching Fab 3, Sadio Mane, who's terrorised defences in the Premier League for years, along along with Monaco's Balde Keita for a frighteningly pacey front line and Napoli's outstanding centre-back Koulibaly. If their game-changing players can live up to the title, Senegal could surprise people. Number 6. Nigeria One win in five friendly matches leading up to their opening game against Croatia doesn't sound good for Nigeria, who will also have to get favourable results against Argentina and Iceland to get out of Group D. But their opponents are all far from perfect, so a little luck could go a long way if they're able to play some decent football. And they have the players for it. Victor Moses offers a spark on the flank no matter where he's deployed. John Obi Mikel and Wilfred Ndidi are more than competent in the middle of the pitch. And Ndidi's Leicester teammates Ian Acho and Musa are both good for a goal if they get the service. It's a tall order for the Super Eagles, but they have probably the snazziest kit of the competition, so hope they do well to watch that thing in action. Number 5. Croatia Also owners of snazzy jerseys, Croatia have failed to impress on the international stage since they reached the semi-finals in France in 1998. Funnily, that was also their first World Cup as an independent nation, and while the team may be young, the stars they're taking this year aren't. Luka Modric and Ivan Rakitic are 32 and 30 respectively, but there's no doubt of their ability to play anybody off the field on their day. If Mateo Kovacic and Ivan Perisic are happy to do the running in midfield though, they have a solid defence and a proven goalscorer in Mario Mandzukic who could help them progress past the group stages. If they can avoid France in the round of 16, there's no telling how far they can go. Number 4. Serbia You'd have to be mad to fancy playing against a Serbia team which included Matic, Ivanovic, Kolarov and Milivojevic. They may be old, but they're tough as nails and will be equally tough to beat. This year they have creative talents going forward too, in the form of the super-hyped Milinkovic Savic, Southampton's Dusan Tadic and in-form point man Alexander Mitrovic. While they may be in a group with favourites Brazil, they could lose that game and still get out of the group if they can beat inferior Costa Rica and Switzerland. Serbia won't be sexy, but they could be good. Number 3. England Yes, say it quietly, England do have the potential to surprise everyone at this World Cup this year. Cautious optimism is the national mantra for this tournament just two years after a historically humiliating Euros exit to Iceland, and even though the first team will largely be made up of the same players, under manager Gareth Southgate there's a new energy and cohesion to the national squad. Gone are the world-beating expectations passed down to the so-called golden generation that preceded the current squad, and instead a humility and realism in the style of play as Southgate looks to make the most of the undeniable talent he has at his disposal. It could all go pear-shaped against Tunisia or Panama, but if England can overcome the first hurdle of escaping their group, the newfound confidence and hunger could take them further than recent years. Number 2. Uruguay Having won the first ever World Cup in 1930 as hosts and again in 1950, Uruguay have a historic relationship to the tournament. They made it to the semi-final in 2010 and have made it out of their group two-thirds of the time they've appeared at the competition. In addition to historical precedent, they've also got consistency and stability on their side, with coach Oscar Tabarez, who's been in charge for 12 years. This will be his ninth international tournament with the side during his second stint in charge, but this year he has the advantage of a squad that's got its tough and rough side with defenders like Diego Godin, but a skillful side too, with young playmakers like Valverde and Bentecourt to feed Cavani and Suarez, who won't be tempted by any yummy Italian shoulders in Russia. Number 1. Belgium. Often excluded from the conversations about favourites for the title, such as Brazil or Germany, but the lack of serious consideration for Belgium has to put them in the category of an underrated team. 
Historically, they've underperformed, no doubt, but man for man, they're one of the most talented teams in the tournament. Their squad includes the likes of Kevin De Bruyne, Aiden Hazard, Thibaut Courtois, Romelu Lukaku, Toby Alderweireld, Jan Vertonghen, Moussa Dembele, talent that can absolutely win the competition if it all shows up. Granted, few people expect Roberto Martinez and Thierry Henry are the men to get the best out of this golden generation of Belgian talent, which is likely why they aren't being more hyped, but that lack of pressure could help. With a group that includes Panama and England and Tunisia, they should qualify, and if they can make it through a round of 16 matchup against Senegal, Poland or Colombia, they're definitely in with a shout. Who are you watching to make an unexpected run in the World Cup this summer? Belgium are a good bet, and Serbia and Croatia also have several players who'll be playing their hearts out of what will likely be their last World Cups. And I'll say it very quietly, but England just might be decent. Let us know what you thought of this video in the comments below, along with what other ones you'd like to see. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any in the future. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Lloyd Mallison, and we'll see you soon.